people, it's Potent. We're back in the dinosaur world just one day after we live streamed. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream if you show it up. And if you didn't, well, it is on uh, YouTube. You can check it out there. Although it's like over two hours. And we didn't do too much except for building. Now, with that said, I've got some stuff to show you guys. In case you did miss the live stream and you don't want to watch the two hour long live stream, let's go check out what we did in the live stream. So in the live stream, we did a, a bunch of digging, a bunch of mining, a bunch of building. Uh, we went into the world of a tomb and died. And I'll update all, all of that very soon. Anyway, what am I doing here? Right. I know what I'm doing. I'm showing you guys this. So during the live stream, we built the ceiling. We built the ceiling for the museum. And it looks epic it looks pretty cool um since then i've gone and i've put stair blocks all over the place so this is after i finished with the live stream i went and i finished all of this with white glass and i went and i finished that uh big bar across the the top like that i attached it so that there's no airspace there anymore hard to explain what i'm talking about but basically the roof is finished um, I don't know if I'm going to put some kind of a design in there yet. I might. Um, some suggestions during the live stream were to put ancient symbols like hieroglyphics or some other kind of rune style patterns inside the glass. And I might still do that. I got a lot of space here. So I might still do that with the glass. Now what else I did. This is off camera. I didn't record this. I didn't stream this. I didn't do anything. Nobody's seen this before. I started using... Instead of the white panes of glass, I started using the gray panes because you can see through them a lot easier. And you can't really... Well, you can see through these too, but it's like white and it's foggy. These ones are like clear and you can almost see through them like clear glass. Um, but I don't want to use just clear glass because then, well, it, it looks ugly. <laughs> it's plain as simple as that. Um, I went and I made this wall here. And I finished it on both sides. Put some glass. So you can see through to this exhibit. And over here I put a giant platform. This is where I wanted to have the Brachiosaurus. So you guys remember that I wanted to have the Brachiosaurus head sticking up and out of the middle. Um, I'm going to do that. But it almost feels like to me, like this is too off center. Because if we stand right here in the middle, like this is the middle right here. And we look up. Like, this wall is a little bit too close, I feel like. So, I feel like maybe it would give us a lot less space. But if I take these and, for example, make it so that we're like that, right? Okay, and then we go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be roughly. Um where the display would be but th then you walk right into it when you walk into this area and I kinda I don't like that you know so I think we're just gonna have to deal with it being the way that it is it I messed this up there we go we're just gonna have to deal with it the way that it is and I think I'll have to put the brachiosaur like I'll, I'll stand him like right here and then he'll be more in the middle Anyway, that's where the Brachiosaur is going to stand. Um, on the other side, I'm thinking of probably it'll be the uh, the prehistoric creatures like the Mammoth, Smilodon, and all that. If I can get that. Um, so that'll be like that. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I also did the grass in here. So I put dirt down, let the grass spread. I got some grass. And this is where the display cases are going to be for our little skeleton friends. So I've got one display case here pretty well set up um, with the dirt. I don't have it on me, but what I could do is put some trees in and show you guys kind of how it's going to look. And maybe we should finish one off today. Let's, let's do one. Let's finish one completely. So what I'll need, need a few things. I'll need some spruce or any kind of wood. I got spruce here, so I might as well use it. Um, look at how the, the glass and the light 
gray stained glass. They blend in so well. They look the same. That's why I like it. But anyway. Um, got that, 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 that. What else, what else do I need here? I'll grab that with me. These I, I'll keep right here. Actually, I can put them in my inventory. Okay, and I need leaves now. Okay, so let's go grab some leaves. So, on the live stream, I was in the middle of a tomb in the world, and I was fighting a pharaoh, and the pharaoh killed me, and I lost everything. I was in the middle of nowhere. I lost everything. I got it back. I managed to find it again, killed the pharaoh, and all that he dropped was a fishing rod that I already had. I think I already have the fishing rod. And that, to me, was very, very disappointing. This fishing rod right here. Anuket's Bounty. I got two of them now. I threw it in a chest somewhere else. But I got Anuket's Bounty again. I was a little bit disappointed by that. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. Leaves. Okay, I got enough. Paleoraph leaves. Ooh, if I had Paleoraph... I don't, really. But I can make one. Okay, so we've got a Paleoraph tree here. Let's grab some bone meal. Actually, I got plenty here. Let's plant this down. This is a cultivated Paleoraph tree. And let's bone meal it. Okay. Now, do the leaves still despawn like they used to? Eh? Do they? Well, no, it seems like they're okay. It seems like they're all right. They're not despawning like they used to. Actually, I really like... I really like the Paleoraph tree there. It's a good spot for it. There's the other kind of uh, tree from a tomb. The other kind of palm tree. But I really like that one there. I don't want to move it now. I don't want to move that. I got I to gotta get another one. <laughs> so let's just go like this. Grab that. Put the dark oak leaf there. Let's grow another one. And this one I will chop down. I, I have to chop it down. So let's place it... Uh, as good a spot as any, I guess. Okay. And now we got a pillar up. Okay. And now just break it with the sax. There we go. Oops, I should really be uh Tearing down this dirt, too. Where I go. Otherwise, that'll make a mess. Okay, and then this, 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 this. Alright. So the reason I got that is because I think it would look cooler than spruce if I used, like, the prehistoric trees, the paleograph logs. And now this thing's despawning. I gotta watch kind of carefully for a second here. See if any of the saplings fall down. Because I just ran out with that one. I know I could cultivate more of them, but... It's better if I don't have to, right? If they just fall. So far, none. Is there a little ichthyosaur around here somewhere? Is that him? Hey, Itchy. What's up? How come you're just sitting at the bottom? Swim around, dude. <laughs> it's growing up pretty big. I like it. Now, can we... Where's my Dinopedia? Let's look at it. Can we ride this thing? Empty shell. Activity. Cathermal. Calm. Female. Age. Okay. It doesn't look like we can ride it. I don't know, though. Maybe we could. Let's try the whip. Whip. Nope. Can't ride it. That's a shame. That would have been really cool. If we could ride around on an ichthyosaur. Um, looking for paleograph saplings. None on the ground. Oh! There's one! 
Got it. Got it. I hear a skeleton in the ground here somewhere. It's really annoying me. Okay, so I got the paleograph sapling. Oops, not a whip. There we go. Anyway. Good enough. Now, what creature are we going to put in this little enclosure? I don't know yet. I really don't know. We could we could put a trike there. Is my first... I don't know why I, I feel like that should be first, but... It was the first dinosaur, really, that we had in this park. More or less. Um... The first ever, I mean, like, in the whole series, was a trike. Not so much in this park. In this park, I think it was the Dilo was first. Um, but I I know that we had a trike first. And that might be cool to have one again as the first skeleton in our museum. But it could really be anything, honestly. Uh, so let's put this like that. Oops. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of decorate the leaves around like that. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And then maybe a tiny bit of water might be kind of cool. So I might have to go like this. And then put some water in there. Oops. I broke that and then I put another piece of dirt. Yeah, maybe a little plus shaped side, side of dirt there. Um, what else? What else? What else? I have some smooth stone. So I'm going to put those around too. Kind of like that. Okay. And then I could put the, the trike skeleton or, or whatever skeleton. What would be around rocky hills like this? I don't know. I got more paleograph logs here. I could put another one like, like that. Kind of like that. Okay. So that looks pretty good for our first little uh, museum display case thing. Looks pretty good. I wish there was a way to hide the torches, but there really isn't any. Um, so we'll have to say good enough. Should we grab a bucket? Let's pull, let's place down what we're gonna place down first of all. So <laughs> please, you sore. Unfortunately, does not really belong here. Spinosaur, yeah, not quite for him either. Gallimimus. Well, Gallimimus is more for the plains, I thought. You know? Okay, there's a raptor, I believe that is? Or maybe, yeah, that's gotta be a raptor, because Compi would be way, way, way smaller than that. That's kinda cool. Let's grow it a little bit bigger. In fact, let's grow it as big as it can. Let's see, can we move it somehow? How do we move these these guys again? Control, click, shift, click, no. We can't move them anymore, which is seems like the case anyway. So you used to be able to move them by, I think it was alt click or shift click or control click, one of those things. It was it was something and you right click and you can't seem to do that anymore, which sort of stinks. But what I'm gonna do, come on, place, 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 place down, place down. This guy's hitbox is so large, I can't seem to place down But oh, there's a Pachycephalosaur. I don't think I've ever seen one of their skeletons. Kind of cool. <laughs> okay. 
Parasaur. There it is again. So this one I'm going to keep uh, kind of like a little bit of a juvenile. Like so. Actually, it's hard to see otherwise. So what I might do is make that one the adult. Let's break this one. And see if we can get another one again. Not the trike. We decided against the trike. It's a ceratosaur. There's a gallimimus. Hadrosaur. Mosasaur. There it is again. Okay. So let's go like that. So we got sort of a big one and a little one in there. Really cool. So that was the idea behind this is to put the little skeletons in have them like posed in some way um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the water that we need for that little enclosure and then that'll be done our little enclosure will be done I keep calling it an enclosure but display case what, do, what else can I call it it's a display anyway It's a, I don't, hmm, I don't know. It's, it's an exhibit. Exhibit is a good, a good name for it. So, a couple other things I wanted to do today. Grab the name tag. Go to here. And we're going to give Mr. Ticketing Cow. Wait, does that have two T's? No, it wouldn't have two T's. Mr. Ticketing Cow. Give him a name tag. And water. And water. I need two buckets of water. Ticketing Cow. There we go. This is back in Minecraft 1.7, so when we use a name tag, it uses a lot of levels. But I'm lucky to have any levels whatsoever after I died in the world of a tomb. So, there's that. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's give this guy his name. Boom. Enjoy it. Actually, I should have put a dot there under beside Mr. as well, but whatever. Mr. Ticketing Cow. He now... Uh, has a name. People were wondering why he was there. Now you know. Some people in the live stream were anyway. Okay, and now let's grab the water and throw it in. And then we got another bucket just for this. Okay, so there we go. So we got water. We got this little Scenery here. I don't know what we could do with the back. We can't really do much with this cobblestone here um, We could cover it in vines. We could cover it in leaves like you know like Like that type of thing That looks kind of cool I like that All right um, Let's put another one of these like right Here just to make it look a little bit more rounded off like that, maybe. Um, and this is looking pretty good. Yeah. Can't really complain about this little enclosure here. Uh, exhibit here. <laughs> if I could move this guy over just a, just a hair, you know? That would be more than ideal. Um, but I just can't. No, nope, he just won't move. Will not budge. No matter how much I click on them. Because I wish I could move them just to like, just just a little bit, just a little bit this way. Just a tiny bit this way. So that his nose wasn't pressing up against the wood there. But uh, it looks pretty good anyway. You can walk up, you can see the raptors. And now I feel like uh, what we should have. Let's go like this. Place this down temporarily. 
Uh, what we should have is a sign, of course, that would say, let's throw it in the middle, and then let's just put like, uh, Uta Raptor or something like that, right? Cool. Oh, I am loving this so much. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. All right, next. Let's do one more. The Brachiosaurus. So I was going to put them more like right here, right? So let's, uh, let's go like that. No, not you. No. Got to be careful where I place these guys. There's the Therizinosaur. That would be kind of cool if it was large and in the middle. Trike. There's the one. So there it is. Full length. Tail comes down. Head pops up. That looks pretty cool. I actually would like it, though. I know it might seem foolish to break it again. But I'd actually like it a little bit moved over. So let's break it again. Let's build it again. Oh my goodness. I made it a lot bigger that time. Okay. Great. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. Let's uh, let's put uh, name tag. The, there is no middle here, really. Um, so just one of these, I guess, is as good as any. Brachiosaurus. And I might put the scientific names later on. I know that, I think Fabe did that also. He started putting the scientific names, but this is what I wanted. This is how I wanted it to look. So you like, you come into the museum and you see this massive Brachiosaur neck just stretching up through the building. Oh, cool. Cool. This is looking really good. I am so happy about this. And I hope you guys are too. I'm going to end the episode there. I don't think that we could beat this. Yeah, I'm probably going to put the, the scientific name. So it'll be like Brachiosaurus Latin Word Day. So that's what it'll be. Same with the like Uteraptor. I know that these are the Velothraptor, but let's be let's be completely fair. They're more close to Uteraptor. So let's let's keep them as they are. Um, these are definitely not turkey-sized raptors, so you know it is what it is. But what I could do here's a thought: I could have both. I could have Uteraptors and make these big ones. I could have small ones like this would be the Velociraptor. I could do that. But let's just say that this is both Uteraptor. One's an adult. One's a juvenile. This is a Brachiosaur. Definitely an adult. Huge. Um, the skeleton looks epic. It's placed... Somehow I magically placed it like in the right spot the second time there. And its head pops up. Stretches out. Um, I can't wait till like this one, this one, uh, this one. They're all going to have like little diorama designs like this. So that's going to be cool. Can't wait. In any case, that's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have fun trying to get a screenshot of all this. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video. Comment below. Do all those other awesome things that people do. And we'll see. It. Why does it disappear when I look at it? That's annoying. We'll see you guys next time in the dinosaur world. Bye-bye. Don't you hiss at me at the end of the episode.